Sunny. Welcome back to my channel. So, you all, I took some Robert Welsh's makeup tips. As you know, that Robert Welsh is a makeup artist here on YouTube and in real life. So, I started watching his videos and I started like applying, I wanted to apply the tips that he had in his videos and I wanted to apply it to my everyday makeup routine and to see if, you know, just how like drastically it'll change my makeup. So, if you all are interested, stay tuned. Okay, y'all, so if you don't know who Robert Welsh is, Robert Welsh is a makeup artist on here on YouTube and in real life. Um, he, his um, whole makeup thing is not like a, like over dramatic Instagram like makeup that we see everywhere. Like he gives me very much like high fashion model type makeup. And I'm just like, I, I started to realize like, we use way too much foundation. Like we 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 do. I'm we're doing way too much with our makeup. I just love how simplified his makeup is, and I'm just like maybe if I follow some of his tips and kind of tone it down and work on like just the whole application of my makeup, I will get like better results because I've been noticing like in pictures. I'll go back in my pictures and notice that like oh my god, like I walk out the house look like that. Like I thought I was looking a one when I left the mirror, but I'll go back and look in pictures. And I'm like oh my goodness, like that really should have been blended out better. Like that really, like I'm just like, what can I do to better my makeup skills? So I had to go back to the drawing board. And of course, you know, I do my own makeup. I, everything I know about makeup, I learned here on YouTube. So <laughs> I am self-taught. I am nowhere professional. I Everything that I learned about makeup, I learned here on YouTube. So there is always room for improvement. There's always room for more. So I'm like, what ways can I improve my makeup? So in watching that, um, I'm going to call him Robbie because I don't know. I just love his personality. I love everything about him. So in, my, <laughs> in, in watching Robbie's videos, like I just love everything about the application. So I thought that I would take some of his tips, some that I have taken, you know, for myself. You know, you kind of just take what you need and kind of leave what, you know, what, what doesn't apply. So I want to take some of the tips that I feel like was relevant to me and, and my makeup application. And I thought I would just start using them to like, help better my application. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Okay, you all. So my my face is clean and moisturized. Let's go ahead and jump into primer. So um, when watching um, Robert Watch's videos, I believe that he he really wanted to focus on using the right primer for your skin type. Now my skin type is uh, it's normal. I want to say normal to dry. Like it's normal never i really don't have an issue with oil oil's never really been a problem for me but the problem i do have is i get i know people get oily like right in here i don't like it's it's dry in here like it gets really dry so i um i try to like when i use a hydrant primer i try to like really just kind of concentrate like right in here i don't know why it gets dry right in here it's weird but it just just dry so um I'm gonna go ahead. I usually go in with even a soft matte primer or a hydrating primer, but today I'm gonna go into with a hydrating primer, and I'm gonna I'm gonna be using the ColourPop Pretty Fresh um, Hydrating Hydrolonic Acid Primer. Um, it is infused with hydrolonic acid, so it's very hydrating. And I'm gonna go ahead with that. And I know that another thing <laughs> that um, he also emphasizes is using the right amount. He's really big on like using the right amount because we overuse products. And honestly, until I watched his videos, I didn't realize how I was overusing products either. So I'm so happy that I watched his videos. So I'm gonna go in, and usually a pump is a lot. So I might just go in with half a pump and so i'm gonna go in with like maybe half a pump because we don't want to overdo it okay i might go in with a little bit more because i'm really gonna like on these areas <sighs> i'm gonna really kind of like pat my little dry areas i'm going in with a little bit more but i'm gonna Get, yeah, all right in here is where it's dry. That's where I come in. Because I don't want the makeup like really sticking to those little dry spots. But, um, yeah. Okay, so we're going to get into brows next. So the thing is with brows, um, he really, I really didn't take any like any kind of tips. I can't, you know, because everyone kind of do their brows differently. So, um, I like to go in with a brow pencil. This is the, uh, NYX uh, Fill and Fluff 
brow pomade pencil so I, I really don't really find the need to use a gel or any of those other things this really seems to work for me um it really keeps my brows in place and i really don't have any really issues like i don't have really any brow problems um if i can change anything i can say that i think sometimes i do go a little heavy with um, this product and i think so what i will do now is i'll try to go in a little light just like using less product um i think what i'm gonna do is just go in really lightly with this um with this so i'm gonna brush my brows out and it has this little brush that comes with it and i'm gonna lightly i'm gonna lightly fill them in i think i just go in too much and just like less is more and my brows are really you know they're nice and full so i really don't have the need to really go in heavy so i'm just gonna go in And it's got this little point at the end. I don't know if y'all can see it. I really like this. I really, really like this. Um, see, it's just not. Yeah, see that? I love it. I just love this. Um, almost out. But yeah, I just kind of go in. Fill in. I'm going to go in one more time. Light hand. And that's it. That is all I want to do with my brows. I'm going to go in and brush them out. Kind of give them a shake. That's it with my brows. Um, I'm gonna do the other side. Just a light hand. I think, I don't know, I just this is going in so light and I'm just like, why my brows so dark? Also, this is in the shade Espresso, if you're wondering. So I'm just gonna go in lightly. And another thing that, uh, tip that I took from him is where you hold it. So if you hold it closer, of course you're gonna, so I'm holding it towards the end and I'm just going in lightly. So I'm gonna go to the brush and then fill it in. And honestly, that's fine. We're not gonna do anything, anything more. <laughs> okay, so the next thing we do is when I shape my brows. So usually what I do is I go in with this really big concealer brush. Um, I can't find it right now, but I'll go in with a really big concealer brush and I go in with a really full coverage concealer and I would just like shape my brows. So I would go in with a really full coverage concealer and I go in with a really big, big concealer brush and just go over my brows and it would take, be, take forever to blend out. And it would just, it just, it was too much. So what I've learned now to do is I'm going to go in with a like medium building, uh, buildable coverage, um, concealer. So this is the Rare Beauty uh, Concealer. And I'm gonna take this thin little angle, the small angle brush. Sometimes I'll go in with a bigger angle brush. And that really, um, and I just end up applying so much, so much concealer. So I'm gonna go in with this little angle brush. And I'm not, I'm no longer going to, uh, I'm gonna take just a little bit. And I'm no longer going to shape my top brows. I'm just gonna go under and I'm just gonna blend that out. So I'm gonna take a little bit of concealer and I might go ahead and tap some up, but we'll see if this is enough. And I'm just gonna go under my brows. I'm not going to take it anywhere else. And that might be like a little much there, but. <laughs> You can always, I'm gonna keep a little napkin here and that's probably what I should have did at first. But it's a really light coverage concealer. I think it might be medium to buildable, I really don't know. This is, um, I actually just bought this concealer. And I'm just gonna blend this out. I'm gonna bring it down. Yeah, I think what it is, you all, we just, we use, we don't realize how much product we use. like you can still get a really good makeup look without using so much product and i'm just like i use a lot of product and it's so unnecessary so unnecessary you can still get a really good look so i'm just going to spread that out with this and then i'm going to go in with concealer and kind of blend that out Brush. and see that you don't have to spend all your time 
trying to blend that dango concealer <laughs> in your lid you guys for real and then if your concealer is two shades lighter you don't have to deal with the halo over your eyes so yeah this is a really great tip and that's good i think that'll be enough it is kind of hard getting under that brow blended pretty well then i'm going to just take my um little brush and kind of just kind of brush them back in place and that is all we're gonna do with brows um uh, yeah so i just went in lightly with my regular product and i went in light with a light concealer and i just used a lot less than i normally would have okay you all so now we're gonna go into foundation um as far as foundation tips i believe um of course he you're gonna find the right foundation for your skin type i personally like i said having normal to combination skin to normal to dry skin um i'll go in i honestly i don't have really an issue using a certain uh formula foundation i can use matte i can use hydrating and as long as i feel like i prep my skin appropriately it's okay but right now i want to go in with this um um kvd good apple foundation it's a hydrating foundation and i'm just gonna go in with that now i did watch this review on this product and i honestly am not going to be using the product um i'm gonna kind of use the product my own way <laughs> now i do remember him saying with this product you don't need as much as you think you need and i do remember him saying um to go in with not quite such a dense brush because a dense brush is going to put on a lot of product so um let me just apply this okay so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to dab the product onto the brush um i'm taking the elf ultimate blending brush um so i'm just going to dab the product on i'm going to dab 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 and then I'm just going to, I'm going to slowly build it up. That is another thing that a tip that he said is like, if you apply too much product at once. So I'm just going to take a little bit and apply it to my whole face and see if that works for me. And if I feel like I need a little bit more, I will go in with a little bit more and build it up. Usually we just go in with, and I'm no, I do it too. Just go in with a certain amount and try to blend all it out. So I'm going to go in with a little bit and I'm just going to try to make it work. And if I feel like I need more, go definitely go in with more. But this is just a really way of not just using so much product. And when you do, we use a lot of product. Honestly, you guys, this looks good. This looks good right here. And I just like, I really just dabbed it. I really just dabbed it. I know like on a lot of reviews on, um, Marvis reviews like he was seeing when he was watching other people think they were just going so heavy in with this foundation but I do think just a little bit I do want to go in with a little bit more just because yeah I just want to I want a little bit more coverage so I'm not going to take a whole bunch I'm just going to dab and there take it everywhere get my mirror <laughs> but yeah oh my gosh and it looks good like less is less really is more you guys it really is like i'm i'm fine like i don't i did not need that much product it looks good so i'm gonna go in and even though i don't have like any streaks or issues i'm still gonna go in with a microfiber sponge to kind of blend this out all right so i'm just gonna go in with a makeup sponge or kind of blend it out it's not really necessary but I, I always like that but I do it every time there are no streaks I really don't have any issues with that but I'm just gonna go and just kind of blend it out and that's it that is it for the base um let me see I'm trying to see if I can see those dry areas that don't look so dry They look all right they look okay okay so next thing let's go on to concealer 
So, when it comes to concealer, I know that, again, we use so much concealer. And I'm always big on using a full coverage concealer. But it's like, sometimes, like, we really do not need a full coverage concealer. Like, I'll go back and look at my picture and it's like, oh, my God. Why do I have so much concealer? Why is it so bright? And why is it blended so terribly? Like, you can see a clear distinction before my makeup and the in, in my highlight, like, in my concealer. So, I think what we're going to do this time around is we're going to go for a lighter coverage concealer and we're going to just like use just a little and we're going to build it and we're going to make sure it's blended in well. So again, I'm going in with the Rare Beauty, Beauty Concealer and I'm just going to highlight in my normal places and I'm try just going to use just a little bit of product. So I'm going to go in here. Bring that out here, bring that out, nose, and I tend to go really heavy on the nose part. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take again this small brush and I'm going to take the concealer and I'm going to take it and run it down my nose. Let me try not to get so much. And I'm just going to run it down the nose. I like that. I'm not going to lie. Jump it, jump it. Oh, Got music on the background. I think I am going to. Let's see. Just a little bit. See, that's a lot right there. We may not even need that much. But let's let it sit for a bit. And then we'll blend it out. Because this is not a... Um, such a full coverage concealer so i would do want to let it sit a little, little bit and then we'll come back and blend it out okay so i'm going in with another layer and i'm just going to blend that out just as so and see i like i even like how it looks layered like it still doesn't look like it's too much but now it's giving me still giving me my little highlighted look okay so that is one tip that I think is awesome. Go in with just a little bit and build, you guys. Do not just go in. And I know so many people go in heavy with the concealer. And I know because I watch a lot of YouTube videos, okay? They go in so with so much concealer. So we feel like we need to. So another thing I'm going to do is kind of go in the other side kind of blend that out which i don't really feel like i need to do too much because blending my concealer has been really been an issue i go back and i look in you know my pictures and it's like oh. but i really am liking this technique all right so i'm going to go ahead and set now when it comes to setting i know that robert says is just to use less of concealer so what i'm going to do is I'm not going to take, I know you see a lot of people take the sponge and dip it in the powder and then just kind of go in. I, I'm dry. It gets dry under there. I'm not going to do that. I already know like how sensitive it is under the eyes. And um, so I'm going to go in with a small taper brush from e.l.f. Give me. Okay, so I'm going to go in with small taper. It's the small tapered brush from e.l.f. And I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Powder and Banana, Loose Setting Powder and Banana. Um, I find I really like this powder. I know there's tons of powders out there that, but this, you know, this just works for me. I like it. It's not too drying. It's fine. I like it. So I'm going to go in. I'm just going to take some, put some on the top, tap it off. I'm going to kind of even blow it with that. So then I'm just going to tap it where I, everywhere I conceal and I'm going in with a red when I say a really light amount I'm going in with a really light amount right up under there sit there about there and here really light amount and I really love this brush for applying powder and that is all that we're going to do when we're doing powder. We're not going to go crazy. So the next thing I would do is set my entire face with a um, with a powder. 
Okay, so to set my entire face, I'm using the Soft Focus, the Black Radiant Soft Focus Finishing Powder in Creamy Rhymes Finish. Um, because I, because of the foundation I use, it's a really hydrating foundation, and if you've seen the reviews, this foundation is not really long wear. So, in order to like keep the little foundation going a little bit longer, I'm going to set it. And I'm going to take a fluffy brush. This is from the BH Cosmetics uh, Signature Rose Gold Collection. And I'm going to swirl and tap and kind of just buff it. Buff it everywhere that I did not set with the concealer. And that's it. That is what I'm gonna do. And I also find that sometimes if I don't do as good of a job as blending my concealer, doing this kind of helps kind of tone it down those edges. I'm not using any more powder. I'm just going in and kind of just buffing it in. That is it. That is what I do to set the rest of my skin. Let's go into the next step. So you guys, another problem that I've been having is with uh, the placement of my bronzer, blush, and highlight. So the problem that I've been having, and this, I'm so glad that I watched this video and I found, picked up this tip, is that um, the combination of my powder, my blush, it just kind of gets lost because it's just like all overlapping each other and it, like he said like in one of his videos he said it looks muddy because you're mixing the blush and the bronzer and the hot and it just looks a muddy mess and i'm like you know what that might be the issue that i'm having so a tip that he said is to go ahead and use a bronzer but use a bronzer lower and go ahead and kind of layer those not on top of each other but right above one another so if I go on with my bronzer, I'm going with my Morphe Bronzer and Showmance, and I'm gonna take uh, I'm gonna take a fluffy brush. This is the Real Techniques uh, blush brush, but I'm gonna use it for bronzer. I'm gonna take this brush. I'm gonna take the bronzer side, and I'm gonna take this lower. So here right not where you will put your blush under where you put your blush and usually i would go over my blush first and then try to top my bronzer on top of it and i feel like that was an issue so i'm that's why i'm like okay let's start with bronzer first i'm gonna put it you know where you apply your bronzer forehead i'm gonna do the chin and my jawline but i'm gonna take it lower and I'm glad that I'm doing this first because it gives me an idea of now where to put my blush. So now I'm going to go in with my blush. Okay, so I'm taking the e.l.f. Powder Blush Palette. And I'm going to show you all the shades that I have. And I'm just going to be using this simple. I don't go too crazy with the blush, y'all. So I'm going to use this shade here. And I'm going to take, huh, I'm going to take this number three from BH Cosmetics set from this um, Stoded Rose, um, Stoded Good Collection. It's a BH Cosmetic brush, okay? So this is a different, I've never really used a brush like this. I have before used when I was trying out the technique, but it's really different. It's kind of tapered. And I think I'm gonna start using this more for blush. I think it'll just give me more of a precise where to put it. So I'm gonna take, tap, I'm not gonna put too much, tap it off, and I'm gonna go above where, now, y'all know I'm not perfect. I'm just trying to take these little tips. Of course, it's going to take some practice of me, like, mastering them. But I'm going to take this, and we're going to bring it up, right? So I'm going to bring it my cheeks and up here. And see, kind of on, right, not on top of where I did the, the contour, um, the bronzer, but I'm going to bring it up on top, kind of layering it. I don't do too much. It's hard looking in this little camera, you guys. So tap, and then remember, I'm gonna take it on my little cheekbones, and I'm gonna bring it up. Cheekbones, bring it up on top of that bronzer so it doesn't look muddy. So okay, you can kind of still kind of see where the bronzer and blush is. I'm gonna kind of go in a little bit more with this, but they're not like on top of each other, like muddying them up, right? That's why I think I think this brush is kind of gonna be good for like placing it where you want it to go. Okay, um, 
listen like i said i'm a beginner and we're just trying out these tips and see how they work next things next let's get into the highlight okay so when we're talking about highlight robert likes to emphasize um the placement of the highlight and also the amount i know people go crazy with highlight i know because when i first got into highlight i love that highlighted look but now like i'm so over that like so over that i love a subtle little gleam of highlight i love it so i like this laura geller um baked gelato swirl illuminator and gilded honey i just love this i love this i love it gives me just like a little subtle highlight and um i think what people usually do is they go in with these little tight brushes this is a highlighting brush from a bh cosmetic set and they would go in with here and then they would use this but i noticed this puts a lot of product on there and that's not the look i'm going for so what i do like to do is a big fl a fluffier brush so i'm going in with the highlighting brush from elf and i'm going to take this and i'm going to put it just lightly i'm not going in with a lot i'm going to tap and I'm going to put this higher than my um, blush on the tips of my cheekbones there. And I'm just going to, I'm doing it lightly. That's it. That's it. We're not going to do, yeah. See what I'm talking about? You probably can't see it in the camera, but it's got this pretty subtle highlight. Pretty, yeah. See, it's just not too much, not doing too much. And then I don't know if people are still doing this, but... I know they kind of go on their forehead, but I still go down. I still go down my nose. I still kind of put some here and here. Not a lot. Remember, we're going in light. This is basically with what's left over. What's left over from here and here. Just a little bit there. We don't want too much. And that's it. That's it. You really can't see it right now, but I can see this subtle glow. And I really love it. I really love that. But yeah, learning how to do like the bronzer lower and then the blush a little bit higher and then the highlight a little bit higher, that really helped. Um, I know it still kind of looks a little funky now, but this is my first time trying to technique and the more that I do it, the, you know, I'll get better at it. But just having that knowledge and knowing that is just a great tip to make that look better. So we're going to go into with the next step. Okay, so I filled in my little beauty mark. And the next thing we're going to go in with setting spray. Now, I think Farmer said that he doesn't really see that setting spray, setting spray can be really necessary. He also said that you could also use it before applying your, you know, full face. But, you know, we all kind of do our makeup in different ways. So I'm kind of just taking his tips, taking them, you know, taking what applies, taking what I feel like works for me and whatnot. You know, makeup is not set in stone you know what it's, it's makeup you can do whatever you want to do it but if you want i'm gonna take the urban decay all nighter and i'm just gonna i know that he has certain rules if you have like a certain kind of uh textured skin or oily skin or stuff like that but like i said my um skin is normal sometimes dry um and i just i don't have a problem with a lot of oils i never really have so even like in the summer, I really just don't have a lot of issues with oil. So um, using a certain setting spray doesn't really matter with me. The only time I use it is like when I really want to hold. And right now with me using the type of foundation that I use, I do kind of want to make this last a little bit longer because it doesn't have the long wear um, capabilities that I would like it to have. But I really like the foundation. Um, I know Robert <laughs> discussed in, in his review, he kind of discussed his kind of dislike for it. He just felt like it was overhyped and he felt like there was, um, Jackie Ina also expressed that she felt like it was also overhyped and she felt like it wasn't revolutionary and stuff like that. Um, I don't use a lot of different brands. I haven't, I haven't had the ability to test a lot of different foundations and stuff like that. So when I find one I like, and honestly, personal opinion, I like it. It does, I do not feel like it wears very long, but I kind of finesse it and then I know what occasions that I can wear. Like I'm not going, if I know I'm going to be out for eight plus hours, probably not going to be a foundation I'm going to reach to. When I'm just going out for lunch or, or you know, brunch or anything, that's going to be maybe an hour or two. It's, and that's exactly where I'm going now. Like I'm going to have lunch and probably not going to be out that long. It's not really a hot day. So I feel like this is a really good foundation for that. Um, so yeah, I'm, let's see what else can we do. Um, yeah, those are, those are really, I'm going to go ahead and finish um, the rest of my makeup. And then I'll come back and we'll, I'll kind of just tell you how I feel about the tips. <laughs> 
Okay, y'all. <laughs> so I finished the rest of my makeup and I put on, excuse the lash. I usually would not wear such a dramatic lash, but I got a certain look I want to do today and it requires a dramatic lash. Uh, I know with the makeup being so simple, it's like, ah, dramatic lash. Anywho, but um, as far as like, looking at my makeup and I haven't taken pictures or anything yet, but I don't know. I still kind of like how everything came together. I really feel like you know using those tips really help like i don't feel like i don't feel like my highlight is too highlighted i'm blended i don't feel like you know the side part is all like muddy and like all the highlight and blush is too much together i don't feel like i'm wearing like a, a over amount of foundation like i just don't look too over like besides the lashes dramatic lashes my face itself just doesn't look overdone and i really just like that look um i can't wait to practice these tips and kind of work out in some more and kind of just like really help like better my makeup application and my makeup skills i really loved um i really love those tips they were very helpful y'all if y'all have a chance go check out robert welsh's um youtube channel um he does like all kind of makeup like this and art uh makeup artist he's absolutely amazing go check out his channel he actually has a ten, twin brother named james welsh also and he does a skincare he does completely different thing he does skincare and they also have a joint um youtube channel the welsh twin so go check them out y'all they are hilarious i love them i love their personality like both separately and together like i love me some robert i love the laugh i love go check out james and robert welsh's channel they have like i said they have two separate channels they have one joined together and um yeah like if you're looking to up your um skincare routine james is go-to if you're looking to update upscale your uh, makeup routine go ahead and check out robert's channel y'all they have like great tips they're awesome thank you all for watching this channel watching this little video of mine um and that's it y'all see you in my next video bye y'all Thank you.